Hey guys, I want to give you a quick basic tutorial on playback. And so what we're going to do is uh, we'll just open up playback right there. And then um, just three things that I want to show you on here. First, I want to show you the faders right here. We have control. It's a, it's a mixer here on playback of all the stems of this entire song. Now, clearly, we're not going to have all of them turned up. Uh, we'll have some of them up as supplement but what I want to show you is uh, you have your click level right here we can adjust that and within the click we have different options you can adjust the level of the accent and then you have the subdivisions of quarter eighth and sixteenth um, and then you have the level of guide um, now a lot of this stuff should be set when you get there but just so you know uh, the inner workings of it when we have a band we're clearly not going to have the drums or bass probably not acoustic and not the electrics if we do have any of the other electrics, clearly here you see there's like four electric tracks. If these electric tracks, like three and four, are more kind of like ambient kind of stuff, we'll probably have a presence of that. And, uh, and the sound engineer will communicate with us whether they want um, more or less. And so just be familiar with this. Is that, is that simple? That's how you adjust the, um, the level of any part. And, um, you know, and so a lot of these things will, will be brought down and... Um, and so anyways, that is the mixer on playback and that's how that works. The second thing I wanted to show you is the, um, the song arrangement. Now to select a song, um, all you have to do is just, um, just hit the, the, uh, the picture there and it'll be selected. And so the thing that I want to show you first is, um, how we can add and, um, and drop parts of the song. So let's just say in rehearsal, we're like, dude, let's repeat that chorus in this song. All you have to do is go to edit, hit the plus, and then just hit chorus. Now let's say too that uh, you can hit unedit right there and then, um, and then you can play it and it'll sound like this. Chorus. And then it'll cue it up again right into the chorus like that. Okay, now let's just say, no, that actually didn't work. So you can hit edit and then if you just go to this red um, minus circle right here you just hit that and it's deleted and it's that simple the only other thing I wanted to show you about this is making sure that when you start a song you always um, hit the back button right there and the reason for that is because in any given song there's really long intros so for example um, let's take this one right here it's one two Intro two. So that's three, a really long four. intro. A lot of times, what we like to do is uh, start that a little bit sooner. So if we did maybe three seconds, that's actually going to start it right in the middle, right there. Now, if you don't hit this back button, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get uh, a, a notification here. It's going to say this: "Please start playback after the start point of the song." And so all you have to do is hit that back right there, and it's going to start where the start point of the song is at. Um, even if there's songs that don't have um, an adjusted start point, it's a good habit to always select a song and just hit that back right there. Um, and, and that way you can be assured that you're not going to get, you know, this, this uh, you know, put this alert right here. So those are the basics.